Team One fans, are you ready for a revenge match against Hangwa Life? We're going to crush them like we have crushed the D plus Kia Gaming guys. And now we're getting right into the match. We're not first picking Kalista, so this draft is already way better. Let's get into game number one and uh, path our road to tomorrow where, I mean, for you guys it will already be tomorrow maybe, but whatever. But we're going to go against Genji after this, but first. Three quick games against Hangwa Life. Let's go. Two one fighting. Let's go. Okay, game number one has started. My friends, get yourself a drink. I will need it because my voice will die down. But let's get right into the draft of this one. And I already see Kisante and Yon. Uh, yeah, Hangwa Life picked out some um, balanced champions. Let's see. What? We have Siri on our lineup. Oh my god, if you can't beat them, join them, I guess is the call also. Like, what is this? Is this like Genji playing or what? Zeri and like Rakan with Talia mid lane. Okay, okay, interesting. Zeus again with his Yu Gi Oh player. Let's not talk about Yu Gi Oh, horrible ban list. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, the matchup in top, he will farm some money, but again, stylistically, sure, it's Kasante. What the hell? Wait. Wait, lane swap? I've heard some rumors from uh, from Europe, but what is that? What is that? Okay, Zeus now, he has no TP, uh, he has no ghost and he will miss a lot of minions and I mean uh, the top lane turret, like the mid lane turret obviously has like the early protection, so it's not going to be that bad. But let's see, Carrier comes in to top lane as well. This is going to be an exciting early game. We have not seen lane swaps in forever. Peanut is also there. So our uh, uh, support, oh no. Anyway, we should be all right, right? But the problem is, look at the minion wave. There are millions of minions dying. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean... Owner, like owner is benefiting from this, right? He is like getting more, but look at this! Zero CS top laner! Hey, uh, what's this? We'll have to see Zeka here is going to be the target, but what can we do? What can we do? Flash over, okay, okay. Nice one, the surprise owner is the deadliest. But uh, yeah, this lane swap caught off off guard. Uh, good adaptation, Hangwa Life, you are a formidable opponent, we are going to uh, laugh and be joyful while crushing you. Uh, no, Peanut comes in as well. Zeus still not level 6, right? Oh man. And the thing is, right? Like they are now waiting for him, right? Waiting for him in that brush, right? Uh, at least he knows that Peanut is in the or was in the area, right? But it's like, what is he supposed to do now? Peanut has left, but he still does. Like he he can't be sure like that Peanut is not there anymore, right? There is a control word in the brush, and now like I mean he is like playing like playing chickens, right? With him, they're looking at bot lane, right? Faker is here in the area as well, but mid lane Zeka is coming. Flash though was pretty good. Faker now tanking the turret, getting clipped by Zekka's ult, but doesn't have the most damage. They're all low. Please give us a Zeri moment. Guma, it is your time to shine, but what is that? That is... Uh, yeah, atrocious is like one adjective that I would like to use there. I mean, obviously, like, they feel the pressure of making a play. They know Peanut is not topside anymore, so, like, he, he could come. They know Zeka is coming as well, right? So like they're panicking here a bit, right? But it's like, what is the play? Okay, let's see here. T1 is pretty aggressive. The lights flash has come up now, but he's CC chained and goes for a play. But now Viper all alone. We traded so far. Faker is sliding through the side. Double kill for the Guma God. And uh, we've turned this uh, bad situation around. That should be also a play. I mean, uh, that was pretty dicey, right? That could have turned out much worse, but in the end. Okay, we're not going for the plate. Respectful, respectful. Right, there is a dragon to fight for, I guess. Uh, but it seems like we're just giving it up. Okay. Two drakes though for Angolife. Not the best. Uh, 
uh, yeah. It's going to be pretty interesting, right? Guma is like a, a player that's not very known for his Zeri, right? Uh, and as much as I think it's not Guma not being a, it's not Guma not being able to play Zeri, rather it's like a team thing, right? T1 is not really, uh, like they don't really love to like hyper a player, right? Uh, they like to play with multiple threats, and Zeri is just a champion that like really gets to shine. When like she has five guys like really stroking her, uh, massa massaging her, right? Really setting her up to success. Uh, carrier here with uh, that was well something. Uh, yeah, we've traded. Uh, we've got actually the first blood turret on bot lane in the meanwhile. So uh, yeah, pretty great that we've managed to hold the top lane tower for such a while that uh, our Zeri was able to collect that one. Uh, we're kind of looking at the top lane uh, outer turret while they obviously use the Xante, their strength uh, to attack. Uh. Oh, actually, flash forward by owner, flip immediately, and Faker just executes him. Garia is there to wave a bit into the camera and smile. And uh, yeah, Xante is going to get the turret uh, first, but uh, kill plus turret, uh, probably going down for T1 as well. Very nice, uh, yeah, macro play there. Okay, next strike. In 20 seconds, T1, look at their inventory. They have farmed minions. That's what I wanted to tell you on the other side. Hangul Life indeed also has farmed minions. Both teams have farmed minions for the last couple of moments. And now we'll have uh, yeah, a bit of a situation, right? Hangul Life obviously a bit more of effective range than we have. Sure, we have Zeus with his rapid fire. Sure, Carrier has like flash and that stuff. Sure, same with Owner. Sure. But Hangwa Life still has easier, effective range to set up. But now let's see how T1 uses their Phalanx ability. Okay, nice engage by Rakan. Guma over the wall. Pew, 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 pew. Smite does not work out. Guma flashes into the pit and pewing around. T1, I'm not sure what happened. But two free kills. We lose the dragon and the soul. Bad. But uh, Viper also has to flash out of the pit. Doran, okay, yeah, sure. You felt cool getting uh, your team into the top lane. Two bully Zeus. Now Zeus sends you into the shadow run. T1 on the Baron. It looks pretty good. Sure, Viper has his W, Q, and Peanut has Smite. But, uh, like, we have CC, right? That should not be something of great concern. The Peanut is dead. And T1 gets the Baron. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, we need to brief 3 1 and 3, 3 0 oh, and 2 Faker and Guma, man. The two sons of T1. Man, really nice. Faker here splitting the fight carrier in the back. Already a threat, right? Flashes in. I mean, maybe. Yeah, the engage looks pretty good. Guma, like, puts out so much damage. And, like, again, we have looked at the items of T1, especially Faker with the Rabadon's death cap second. Man, so much damage, man. Pretty wild, Zeka doesn't get to do anything, right? Get CC chained to death, and I mean, Kassante, like, crazy. But, uh, doesn't matter if a Zeri with three items looks at him like this, and then he just falls over. Now, let's see how T1 can play the map with their uh, global pick style uh, comp, right? Again, Hangwa Life, they have the effective range to, like, burst into your face with an engage, uh, but, uh, well, we'll have to trust that T1 can navigate uh, their champions, correct? A bit of a pick here, a bit of damage onto the Cassante. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, maybe a bit too greedy. But who is actually greedy? Who has... Okay. Both people put their hand in the cookie jar. But it seems, uh, yeah, the jar that is T1 has a bit more bite to it. And as such, the light dies. As you can see, T1 continues to destroy the opponents, right? That's obviously the benefit of champions like the Talia, right? You just try to run in, no rocks in your face. Um, does that mean Talia OP? Yes and no. Uh, right, she's just uh, clearly very strong in certain cases, right? Top and jungle not looking all too bad. On the other side, what is this? Hi, uh, not really the best items. Owner, we don't talk about it, right? Uh, wait, actually, Elder has spawned. Wait, Elder has spawned! Hello? The game is suddenly not in our control anymore. We can look for some crazy plays, right? But uh, now we have no smite. Our jungler died before Elder. There's no way that we've just suddenly thrown the game away. I mean, okay, Doran is getting melted. Oh my god. 
We will not get the smite, but oh no! <sighs> that was too close. Owner, I mean you, you, you mad son of a bitch. Faker though says just Omaiwa mo Shinderu and Guma and Faker uh, just just put so much damage on that. I think three man W there by Faker and I mean Guma just uh, like being um, just man enough to not get uh, shit down by Vi Zeka, right? Zeka, I mean like invisible nearly the entire game and now he nearly like got a miracle play there. I mean, jeez. Okay, now owner. You can get that smite, no? Oh, there. Multi TPs. I mean, what are they? What are they thinking? Like, T1 is not. Huh? They just run away. No elder. I mean, okay. So it's now Soul versus Baron. Look at this fight again. Faker again. Decent, cool wall. All right, Doran is just. I mean, he tries his best, right? That's his job, right? You have to buy time and so on, but he gets shredded. I, oh, the light decent engage the follow up of Zeka. I mean, I thought it was all Jover, but then Faker and like Guma flashes away. That's what I th uh, didn't miss. Didn't miss what I missed, and then Faker with the three man shove, and then Giga Chat flashing onto Viper, just sending him straight back. Uh, yeah, and uh, now it's just a matter of time. Four to thirteen here. The uh, score line: eleven thousand gold, roughly uh, the gold lead, and uh, yeah. Oh, owner? Does he go in? Yes, he does. I mean, Eldritch spawns in a couple of seconds. C1 just doesn't even want to get it. Uh, let it get to that, but that's two kills. Um... Why? What is this? Why the fuck would we do that? The idea, not bad. Let's fight before elders, before we get into some shitty coin flip bullshit. But look at, look at where our players are. Like, uh huh? It's like, how are Guma and Faker supposed to follow all the way there? How? Like what? It's like what? Why? And now we will lose. Uh, like they will have Exodia. They will have second Elder, which is stronger than first Elder, and Baron, and uh, Soul. They will have everything. Like at this point, like minion waves and shit, like doesn't even matter, right? They can just run at us. Yo, now we have three minutes of just pain and suffering. I mean, more just two minutes, but oh. Okay, base race now activated or oh, what is this? Zeus is now recalling. They flashed onto Faker. Oh my god, no way. It's now all on Zeri. Elder has run out. Guma, can he do it? And Hangwa Life now with uh, with Zeus back in uh, the hood are going to uh, walk away. Zeri has used ult, but now like they can just, uh, yeah, just reset TP back in, right? Guma has no ult, ult is like still on such a long cooldown, flash forward, but Zeus dodges it, but it's like again, Guma without ult, can he do it? Will he be enough? Owner goes in, but it's just CC to death. Ah oh, man, there's no way we've actually thrown this game, oh my god, Guma gets one, but goes into the Guardian Angel, there is no way. I just, oh my god, I need to be put on like suicide prevention in the hotline. What the fuck was this game? Oh my god, there's no way, man. It's like we can't say Hangwa Life didn't do anything, right? Their early game plan was pretty good, right? It looks on the gold graph not impressive, and I mean, they could have probably gotten more out of it, but the early game plan was pretty good. But then afterwards, we just like completely raw dog them like they were completely our bitches and doesn't matter doesn't matter late game you throw like one like mini thing you give up elder and gg no re i mean i okay anyway we know we can beat them comfortably 
uh, unless like we're losing our minds. So now let's go into game number two and let's get just get this over with. Like, what the fuck are we doing, man? T1 fighting! Wow. Okay, my friends, after uh, game number one, where I just want to, I mean, it's like, again, I, I, sh I, I, I what, what am I supposed to say unless I don't want to get banned and removed from this platform? Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, T1 comp, hey, look at this, like some funny champions being locked in, they have CC, they have like damage, they can fight somewhat in the early game, they have range, they, uh, well, they, they they can do some things late game, right? They're scaling pretty well. Let's see what Hunger Life is doing. Okay. Uh, also, another pretty aggressive comp, right? That is like good early, good mid, good late. Uh, yeah, both comps pretty, pretty good. I mean, in the end, I think both uh, have uh, like means to succeed. I think uh, overall T1 obviously like in late game should be uh, the one to uh, succeed because Viper is also playing... Um, the bear, the pretty base attack speed varus, right? I, I I like it more, but in this case I don't know why they would go for it. There's obviously the argument that there are three just champions r running into your face, which obviously attack speed varus deals uh, like better with. But on the other side, like what is your answer versus Faker and Goomer like later on? Just nothing. Uh, hmm. Bit weird. This top lane matchup looks pretty interesting. I um, mean, in both uh, pretty interesting and fun champions. Yeah. Owner and Peanut here a bit uh, like ships in the dark. Nice sidestep there by Guma, getting a bit of damage back, but obviously like the early game damage of the Hangul Life comp is just, uh, especially in bot lane, uh, a bit uh, yeah, favorable for them. Kerry comes back with the TP, so like at least he can continue to play. Uh, they don't know that there is someone in the back. Kerry goes in with the flash. Okay? Okay? <sighs> nice! Uh, lots of summoner spells and everything used. Owner very patient there and maybe very greedy, but I mean, not many camps right uh, left. Regardless, lots used, but uh, it's uh, it's about the message. It's not about the summoner spells, right? That's uh, that that's the problem in this matchup, right? Come level six, they just can't do anything anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, the APZ players are happy with. Uh, where, 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 where? I want AP Zek ult back. I want to go in and do damage. Uh, SCC ult. No, I want damage. Where? Anyway, here Faker tries to sidestep, but uh, just barely doesn't work. We get the smite at least, but the team fight here, or the the team slaughter rather, that we should call it. Uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? I, I still don't know. I mean, it's not that we opted into a fight, but uh, that was, again, pretty disrespectful. Like, uh, like, why would we do that? I mean, again, it's like, it's not that Zeka does a lot of damage at this point in the game, but he at least is useful, right? Faker, what is he doing? Nothing at this point in the game. Okay, second dragon here. Um, interesting, right? He won, obviously, with Faker having the package. There's some threat, but actually, if we fight this or if we contest this, we need to put a gun straight into our head. Faker here getting uh, baited in, but with T1 obviously having now pushed into the river, he knows that they have to be in that brush. Let's see, right? Obviously, again, we are very weak here at this point. We'll just have to hope that we're not getting wiped again. Oh, no, no, it's part two, electric boogaloo. Why? Why would you handshake it again? Why? But we got the Drake, yes! <laughs> you know that they're baiting the dragon. You know that they're like, oh yeah, do you want, you want the Drake? You want the Drake? Come on, come on, take the Drake. Zeus gets at least something back, right? So it's not completely disaster. All the kills go on to Peanut. Not too bad. Faker here against, I don't know. Why Corky players just blindly go into a Hex Drinker every time against Azir. Right, sure, Azir does magic damage. Like, yeah, great. But if Azir hits you, what are you doing? Rest, it's full AD comp. Just Azir. Just Azir. And he buys an item for that. Now let's see Zeus here. He has passive as far as I can tell. So let's see uh, if they can... Like, do too many crazy things, right? 
Faker here, like Foss W out, Doran, let's see. I mean, Faker has the gang in his uh, vicinity. Let's see, Zeusia making some plays. Oh my god, okay, turret falls down. He has the ult. Boy, oh, his ult's just so good. Man, he nearly got them with his ult, right? I'm not going to comment on that any further, right? Doran goes in here pretty aggressively, tries to clear uh, the minions, uh, but uh, yeah. We put some damage down into an inner turret, so maybe we can capitalize on that in the future, just like with the dragons. T1 investing into the future. Pretty smart. Okay, Faker here. W's into Peanut. Not much he can do. Like, he could look for Flash, but like, hey. We're looking at the map like Faker all the way alone in topside. Pretty crazy, right? Next Drake comes up in 40 seconds. I mean, maybe you're not expecting everyone from Hangwa Life in top at that moment. Okay, so yeah, it seems like Hangwa Life will get the next uh, Drake, right? Their first one. Zeus in the, all the way in top lane. He's TPing, so T1 is actually contesting. Like, the sprite's already down. It's like, what are we expecting here? We're 2000 gold behind. There's Zeus is engaged. Faker with the package goes in, but yeah, just falls down immediately. Like, it's like, where's our damage? I don't know where it is. I've not found it yet. Maybe owner can actually pop off. No, no, he cannot. Carrier still not doing too much of anything. It's like Doran. Hello, help our Guma, please. Actually, we're winning the fight, but I just I don't know what happened. I, I don't want to know. Just close my eyes, please. Just close them. Oh my god, man. Thanks, OP, I guess. Oh, we're so lucky that we managed to like get onto Zekka there earlier on. Right, he had flash, he had ult, he had everything up and available. Uh, maybe it's a spectator bug, but uh, stick. he just gets completely shit on. Faker obviously with a kamikaze style attack, right, with his plane just rushes into the enemy team. But uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, owner also very unfortunate, right? He's looking to uh, like possess the light. Uh, and then Q, but while he's in the Q animation, he gets hit by Viper. And while he's obviously in the light's body, uh, sus, sus, I guess, um, way squishy, and then he dies to that. So, like, we could have won this fight even with one more member left standing. Baron has spawned, so that's something that we need to uh, keep in mind, right? Our DPS again, it's a bit iffy, right? It's more or less reliant on owner only. Okay, flash from Zeka, forced out, and Viper's cleanse as well. For just a little cooldown there from our carrier guy who has quite a bit of cooldown reduction already in his inventory. Uh, but yeah, vision is rough. Carrier here, he doesn't get anything and oh, Zeka, I mean... I have no, I have just, I just, do, I just give up man, this self is just so silly. The carrier gets 100 to 0 before he can proc Aftershock and then Zeus jumps in. Zeka can't do the DPS, right? Because like there's so much CC, so much threat coming to him and like the friends are falling around them. Maybe they've overcommitted a bit too much on the, that little, little pocky, pocky, oinky, oinky guy. Carrier actually has respawned and TP'd in. Five man Baron buff. This game T1 will not play around. Uh, that is a lie, they've completely sh trolled so much in the early game. Okay, no, 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 not a pick again. Faker still waiting on the package, but I mean, Zeus is decently tanky, right? The next Drake obviously has spawned already. Faker TPs into the mid lane, right? There is also the threat onto the mid lane turret that Faker is now taking care of with the Baron buff. Now, more money into our bank account. Hangwa Life, are they even trying to? Yeah, they are still trying for the contest here but look at Doran like he's all the way like over like there somewhere and it seems like soul point might just be inevitable oh, no tp comes in Zeus here looking for a decent position it's going to be an honest smite fight that is a bit cringe hopefully not uh shiba like we got a kill but that's not good that's not good oh no where your smite at where your smite at uh, yeah, we have no minion wave, anything. Oh, actually, we have one minion. That's the, the biggest minion ever. Mid lane turret also gained. So two turrets, a kill for a Drake. 
Could be worse, could be better, right? We extend the gold lead. Wait a fucking second, Guma has only 75 stacks? He has 75 stacks at 26, 27 minutes? Like, uh, Guma, you have to hit up our boy Reki and uh, let him teach you how to play Senna, what the hell? 77 uh, souls right now, like what is he doing? Let's see, T1 values the Baron Mora we see. I mean, obviously here the question is, like, what is about the DPS, right, Faker? I mean, he does some damage, but not really, right? It's mostly owner here, really, at this point. But, uh, it's like, how do we stop Peanut from going in? He just goes in like that! And now he has to flash out. So, in any regard, it will be a one-way ticket, but T1 also getting chunked by the Viper and the Zeka. Like, look at the damage Faker here. He just uh, like, goes in. There, what is Doran doing? Uh... I don't even know, but the crazy stuff works. Flash? Whoa. Like that guy had nothing left in him. But they didn't know. They didn't know. Okay, now T1. Doran dead. No flashes whatsoever. Right? Peanut is on vision. He's getting engaged on. He has to hold in. Maybe Faker will die. Yes, he will. Ripper no dear captain. But uh, yeah. Massive damage. Comes another teleport. Next challenger. That is Zeka. But he just can watch this, uh, like, Baron die. Are we turning on to him? Nah, let's not do that. Let's uh, recall and run over to the dragon. Okay, they're over committing now onto our... That is our support, my guy. Our support. Carrier, you are... I mean, he flashes away, gets two ults as well. T1 is opening the gates. The gates are being opened. Recalls are cancelled. Man, that's just like your boy on Twitter. Hi, yeah. Oh god. Okay. I mean, the old. I mean, we didn't get too much, right? But just one Nexus turret. Trends. Trends. What am I even saying? Separates us from. Uh, yeah, getting back into this and equalizing the score lead, right? It feels like a quick 2-0 for T1. But remember, we trolled and threw away game number one. So now, like, you can understand that T1 wants to be a bit more on the safer side with uh, how they progress through this one here. Okay, so, still, one Nexus turret left available. Uh, we have Soul Point, that's pretty cool. Doran here, not really caught. Uh, overall, XP advantages here and there, but more so advantage, obviously, in the gold department. That's where it really matters here. I mean, sure, Hangwa Life, like, they have some money on their bank account. Ooh, we might find a sacrificial lamb peanut here. Where are you going? TP comes in. What faker? He just wants to say hello. Pick up the kill in the end as well. <laughs> yeah, he just steals out of owner's pocket. Oh my, oh my faker. That was pretty mean. Anyway, with now peanut dead, I mean, it's not going to really matter, right? There's no smite objective. What? What? Okay, okay, T1. They, they just built a friend like that, like that. Let's go in for one last bounceming party. Doesn't even matter that your ult doesn't do anything. You're just a big and uh, gooey guy. Anyway, Faker, poo, like so much damage. I don't even know who gets MVP here for this one. Uh, Faker had some good rockets and like packages like always. Guma looked pretty wild as well. Owner had a good game. Zeus had an amazing game. It's like amazing performance. I mean, amazing maybe a bit too much, right? There was this early game, but uh, yeah, like after the early game has calmed down a bit, mid game and then like uh, continuing into the later stages of the game, like playing off these fights, uh, just phenomenal. Pretty well executed, right? Not hesitating, just going in straight like that. And like winning like that, like that. That's the T1 comps that we want to see, right? Crazy picks with agency for the players, right? If you have such a good roster, give them agency so they can do something. Um, just usually a great way uh, to go about it, unless obviously like your draft is still shit. But yeah, now 1-1, one, one, uh, maybe I lied with the 3-0, but at least we will uh, continue now with two more victories. So let's continue into game and number three, let's go. T1 fighting! Okay, my guys, game three it is, and our draft 
it is a draft, right? I think our bot lane Guma carry on some really nice champions. Faker finally on the Azir owner again, continuing with a nice Vigo performance. But Zeus, what is that? What is that? Kisante? You're playing something like that? Uh, yeah, disgusting. Don't pick broken champions, right? We forgave Guma for that 1-0 game, right? Because he had to prove to the haters that he can play that little twink. But we know you can play it, Zeus. You don't need to prove it. Just don't pick that. And like, pretty sad that Doran and Gwen have to lose. Uh, Riot Games, they said they will buff Gwen, but then in the end they didn't. It's like, ah, uh, just so much, so much suffering if you're like a blue-haired doll. Uh, anyway, another blue-haired character is the Jinx, right? She's going to uh, also get completely destroyed by T1, right? No protection, right? Delights W is everything for her. But there's Faker, there's Xante, there's a Carrier. All of them just go and completely break this little girl into pieces. Obviously consensually or whatever like you want to say. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't understand. Like, Hangwa Life Comp is like, what, what, are, what are your goals, right? This is just too many, like, cooks in one kitchen or something. Doran, Zeka, and Viper. Like, three carry comps can work. But, I mean, I don't think... They can work like that, like that. Okay, dragon fight carrier pops the old. Wait, that was Doran's TP? Cra Wait! Okay, Zeka decent old, but it didn't hit our carry, so that's not too bad. Zeus in the thick of things. We don't get the Drake. We don't get to save our top laner. Actually, first blood to Doran. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, we sacrificed so many summoners and the life of our top laner. We still didn't get the dragon and didn't get any benefits, right? Okay, so Hangwa Life, right there. Um, not in the worst of spots, right? I hope I said it, but obviously, like, they are scaling, but their early game is just quite a bit more powerful than ours. Oh, well, early game is not like one that completely rolls over, but not one that is all too competent either, okay? Old buffered there, Faker with the old as well. Guma comes around, maybe we can save the play. Peanut fights and dies. And uh, in the end, great success for T1. Quick punish. I was just being like, oh yeah, I'm well, I'm not looking too bad, right? One of the skirmers there threatens T1's cooldowns there. Look at the CS lead, but no, it doesn't matter. 2-1 the score on now for T1. We're crawling back into this one. Okay, we are in the midst of a Herald fight. Let's see, Zeka here threatening Guma. Kara also now falls down. A one for one though, a one for one though. We didn't get the smite, but maybe we can get something here. Faker is hungry for a play. The hook onto Zeus connects though. And now Vepa is excited. Uh, T1 too greedy. Okay. Good flash, but... <sighs> okay, Doran TP is in. Okay, okay, not too bad. Again, uh, right? We are ahead in turrets, right? They they use the Herald. Will they get the turret though? I mean, they're investing some members here. Guma has been slow, has been CC. There comes the rocket. <laughs> no LDR and uh, was it Kraken Slayer as well? I mean. It's it's wild, man. It's wild. This uh, Viper guy is pretty strong right now. Okay, T1. Uh, Twenty minutes. I mean, that's a that's a note on the out of the old book. Starting uh, the Baron. I mean, Doran has no TP. T1 here flipping the objective in Peanut's face. This time, Owner Smite is on point. Zekas ult does not hit too many members. Now, double knock up, Viper. Put into the trash can, the light follows him shortly. Peanut, my old friend, uh, he will get away. But damn, let's go, Doran. Oh, just run, Gwen. Run, little cute Gwen. Even with that uh, disgusting skin. T1, get the Baron, get two kills, get the shutdown onto Viper. And that should be it. With this, we should be able to balloon the game in out of proportions with our better scaling comp, with so much uh, like tankiness, sustain, and effective range. Sure, Viper will uh, be able to do a lot of damage, but unless Hunger Life really gets all the stars in line, 
it will be very hard to, to uh, like combat and come back versus TST1 lineup. Look at this. Boom. Double neck up. Everyone goes to the sky. Flash by Viper. But Faker knows with AD carry flashing away from him like he, like he has his future vision there. It's like completely cut down. Now, next Drake on the chopping board. It will be 2-2. So uh, again, a long dragon game, but uh, yeah, with our champion select and we have uh, opted in for a long game. Okay, now let's see, Zeka, Zeka, yes, it's in the side lane, it's trying to like get something back, but uh, now T1 here with their Baron buff going in. I mean, carrier forced to flash away, like that's a lot of damage, but Peanut with his hand too deep into the cookie jar, boss the flash out and Viper, watch out, watch out, no, oh, he is dead. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the counter punch, right, Orn? Like, you, you might f forget that this guy is not an aggressive tank, he is a counter engage paced tank, so Peanut going in desperately for something, but then he just activates our trap card, we activate Orn ultimate, and at that point it's already GG, no re, here, uh, yeah. We'll have to see. Obviously, death timers relatively slow at 23 minutes. T1 though, 5,000 gold plus ahead. T1 here looking for a bit of a Uga Booga play, right? It's like Hangwa Life just needs one person for Drake. T1 thinks that is now their window of opportunity. Uh, but it's like, who is going to stop Peanut? Uh, no one, right? Ah, we're just going to int again. Okay, Doran at least in trouble, right? He gets the Cassante treatment. Uh, just wonderful. A uh, Cassante full tank. Oh, nice place there by Kara and Viper. Respecting the flash ult, but also... Oh, Zeko! Nice flash there by Guma in the last possible moment before he gets cut down to pieces. The minions are storming into Hongo Life's base. Man, this game is... <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm getting older. This stuff is too wild for me, man. What is this? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so they picked up a free Drake, but we got two kills in the chaotic aftermath. Can we? Oh, nice. Okay. Guma's W is clean. We got the Baron. We get another pick. Delight and Doran have respawned now. But can they defend without the Zekka? I hope not. I hope not. Come on, T1 push us into the 2-1 situation here now give us the match point Doran here I mean it's like not the greatest game of playing Gwen right like sure you see Cassante and or yeah okay not too bad but uh, the rest uh, I mean I don't want to play against <laughs> Azir and uh, Senna as a Gwen it's like nah I'd rather not okay uh, bot lane slowly pushing but again keyword is slowly Again, Zeka respawning in any moment now. Old has been popped. Okay, okay. Zeus hooked and fired down. Decently low, decently low. Okay, okay. Zeka oh, doesn't get it done. Faker goes in. Triple kill for the GOAT. And we get the win. Oh my. It's like, what is this? Man, these games are so hard to play. Man, T1 is just really pumping fucking iron here. Not because they are playing against iron players, that's not the point, right? They're just really working out here uh, in these games, man. We're getting so much better, hopefully, uh, from all of this. And unless we're, like, burning out, uh, like, for tomorrow, right? That's, like, the only downside if you're playing against a good team, right? Sure, you're learning a lot, right? There's huge potential. But uh, also there's the danger of, like, uh, like, you're, like, you're fucked tomorrow after this. Uh, let's just hope we're qu uh, we're finishing it now in the next game, the fourth game, uh, because if this goes to five games, like I, uh, it will get tougher and tougher for both of these teams, right? Even if from a neutral perspective, to deal with Genji tomorrow. So uh, yeah, anyway, Faker with a great game, really free life, free time, just do whatever you want. Again, early game. That's where Hangwa Life had a bit more of a focus on, and again, we were a bit uh, arrogant in that area. But regardless, let's move to game number four. Let's finish this with a 3-1 now. Let's go, let's go. T1 fighting, let's go. Game number four. T1 on the precipice of going 4-0 really here against Hangwa Life. It's a hard 4-0, but 
It's going to be a 4-0 nonetheless. Doran here with his Hex is going to see that Hall of the One is running around on the top lane. Creative level one strategies um, part two, I guess. And yeah, you see correct. We have a Vayne in top lane once again. Uh, owner Sinjao also pretty fun. Faker here. A uh, bit tough, right? There are some champions running into your face, so that's that. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see how he can deal with a hypermobile Viper and Zeka being like over there. Uh, yeah, Guma with uh, Lethality Virus. Just pick AS Virus, man. Attack speed so much better, so much cooler. Anyway, Nautilus now in our hands. The light. What are you going to do? We're going to abuse the power of the CC Titan. Regardless, T1, pretty explosive, pretty strong uh, comp here. Uh, this time less scaling, like some, but less scaling than in game number like one, two, three, four, four whatever. Um, but this time we have the early game power. Let's see how we make use of that. Can we snowball or will we get outscaled by the Zeri moment? Let's hope not. Okay, this time Ona starts up the dragon in the early game and it's actually all right because we are the early game team this time. Hey, great. And uh, yeah, again, the winning lanes continue. Uh, top lane, it might just look like a 5 CS lead. Sure, but Zeus also doesn't have TP, so that's one thing. And Doran has like missed two or three cannons at this point. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a bigger lead than you might expect. Uh, dragon for Grubby, so that's obviously uh, it's like something. We'll have to see. Now a three-man gank into top lane. Zeus already like has seen enough of this bullshit. Okay, gets a nice E. Just the ghost is enough to escape. And uh, yeah, bot lane will be in pain. Is that really what you want to do? Like helping out Doran on Rek'Sai versus like sacking your Viper Zeri. I don't know if that's really the call here. But uh, like, I don't know, man. It's like you do you, uh, Hangwa Life. You do you. Okay, we'll have to see here. The map is kind of dark. And uh, yeah, with that, we take a look at the ninth minute mark here. Owner in the bottom. And uh, yeah, Peanut so far has not used his old. Now might be the moment, but I don't know about this one. Can Viper even enter the fights? No. I mean, there's Zekka, so surprise Zekka. But uh, um. That is, um, yeah, like uh, I was like ready to open the jar of the conversation. Oh yeah, Peanut, I mean, he is the X Factor. I already talked about that one, right? Um, how like that is key, right? There's lots of CC in the lanes and it's like he is the X Factor that is bailing these weaker lanes out in the early game. Again, right, the mid lane a bit in like quotation marks. But uh, yeah, now that's a bit of a disaster. Like the kill goes to Zekker, again, not too bad, but... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a three, uh, a one, three, and first blood also for Guma. It's like you are now completely screwed over. Like the CS deficit is now at thirty or something. Doran somehow actually ahead in, like in this top lane matchup, he got two plates. Crazy. Uh, again, TP in the early game is something, right? Two plates, but obviously it's lacking in the department of uh, plates. Uh, Cannon minions. Okay, now here, I mean, it's like, yeah, these, it's not void creatures, but like these motherfuckers coming up and like catching our Guma, it's, pretty, it's a bit rough, right? Okay, T1 hero going completely all in. Carrier might be a bit too deep, especially with Zekka's TP. Riverino, my friend, but uh, yeah, normally I would say, oh yeah, we're winning around the map. No, no we're also not really, but. Uh, yeah, maybe a, bit, maybe a bit too deep, right? Okay, let's see. Faker puts down the wall and with that we should assume that the, the Void, the big, the, the big Void Grubby goes into our favor. They have picked up, oh wait, oh wait, that's a massive engage. Chains of Corruption is okay, but uh, yeah, it's not enough. Carry has no flesh either, so wait, uh, what is that? A double kill for the Zeri? Is that the so-called Zeri moment? Anyway, now like go lead slightly sure but unnecessarily for the hunger life squad sure we're ahead and drakes but it's like again what did i say like what is hunger life's like way to crawl themselves out like obviously the very moments but next thing stacking up this mountain drake and mountain soul for peanut and i mean honestly also for doran right similar idea just go in like be a like 
I don't know, a bullet for the team and just like, guy, go in. Okay, 20 minutes. T1 is not at the Baron yet, so that's concerning, right? Um, it's like, again, we're like relatively even here. In terms of scaling, as I said, I think Hungry Life is like scaling really well. I mean, uh, sure, what is their answer against Varus? And it's like pressing R. Okay, Carrier getting caught next to the Baron. Hmm. Okay, so T1 in the area, right? This time in comparison to the previous game, the Baron DPS is not just like a Viego, right? This time it's a bit more. There is the pick onto Doran and now the T1 Reconquista or whatever, the T1 comeback just begins. 22 minutes, the Baron in our sights. Let's get it. Peanut is the soul, uh, like, uh, not frontline, right? There's the light as well and the light has a pretty good angle. Oh god, the lights go out, but Carrier goes forward, the nice peanut, the beautiful engage, and there is... Oh my god, Zeus is so fast, pew 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 pew, he buys so much time, flash, oh what a beautiful E, oh my oh my! Peanut doesn't get the smite in the top of the, the game, Faker stones him to death, oh my, he shows him what halal lifestyle truly is. A 1 for 2 overall, I guess Doran also counts, or a 1 for 3, T1 positive play, we also get the Baron, but damn, that, that afforded a, a lot of effort, right? It's the little things, right? This one a bit more simple, right? but if you look at the at the fight, right? Like, to disengage the lights and Peanuts coordinated engage, right? Not so simple, right? And it's like here Zeus also like I mean to, to to play that and to live right sure he invests his flash but nice E then like Carrier also lives for so long and here Faker mm, that's pretty respectable Carrier I don't know why he went back in but it's like, uh, like you miss all the hooks that you don't take I guess okay um, again we have Baron but T1 um, it's like we're skirmishing for a red buff. Okay, owner here will be caught. No, he is not. The double, uh, the ult's really good. It's like Kara Faker try to help, but it's not enough. Okay, another pick onto the jungler, but there's no Baron and Dragon. Yeah, it's not a big issue. So uh, Faker, hello, hello, sir, sir Goat, what are you doing there? Like you know, they're in the area. Like you, you just like saw them or no? Did, did he not? But okay, again, it's like he's going to respawn, he won't have his ult, probably, but he has TP. It's like, these are just useless kills, right? Again, where's our Baron buff? It just, uh, it's just, it was just there for the ego, right, I guess? Okay, let's see, Delight, flanking, also on the other side, Zekka TP'd in pretty aggressively. Obviously, now, Soul Point is on the line for both squads. Hangwalife already on the objective there, burning through the health bar of our dragon. Hello, owner, can you do it? He can't. Very unfortunate. Massive engage by Delight, but no follow-up. Really, Doran already extinct. It's like he truly is the last of the Voidborn. And now we get Zeus and Owner going in. Faker, everyone flashes onto this little twing. Put the Zeri down in the dirt. And now march forward. Uh, I don't think we can finish, honestly. Can we? No. Uh, I, I don't know if we can finish. Probably not. But uh, we... we uh, what are, we, what are we doing? We're not doing anything? Any turret? Hello? Maybe? Maybe? Hello? Okay, T1 back again in our natural habitat. The top side river. Hitting the Baron. He's roughly at half HP, but let's see where the plan is like really at, right? Uh, can we maybe not flip the game again? Can we not maybe like use this macro thing and like get turrets or picks or something like that? We have a Nautilus. Like, we just press R. <laughs> it's like... Please. I mean, hey, doesn't matter. This is like a burst build, right? It's like the energized stack of of the rapid fire cannon, of the storm razor, and the sheen proc. It's like that's like a, that Q auto attacks. Like that's going to fucking knock some teeth out. Anyway, Faker scoots, not really in. Owner goes in, but Guma gets the smite and. Let's see something good here. Owner also oh, sets it up and Guma dunks it down. On the other side, Zeus is doing an insane amount of damage. Owner is still using the auto attack strategy. Pretty effective. Zeus is like, oh, auto attacks, let me try that as well. 
only the carries of Hangwa Lives, only the world champions are running away. T1, maybe this is it again. Another Baron buff and another reset. It's like these guys, they just don't want to finish, they want to continue playing. Look at this, how are we out attacking the turret? It's like, Zeus, why are you with the team? Split push. This is the difference to game number one. Game number one, we had Cassante. We can't split push. Now we have Zeus, right? Sure, there's a threat of Pina pressing the ultimate ability. But, okay. Faker flashing away. Guma also uses his ult. Zeus comes over. There is a flash ult. Everyone jumps on Zeka. He's getting jumped. I mean, with all that gold into this neighborhood, man, you're getting jumped by these boys. Obviously, like, Drake has spawned. That is an option, but T1, are they eyeing for the base? Oh, Zeus here. Maybe he has to watch out. Maybe he doesn't. We obviously have the option of cracking the turret. Oh. Cracking the turret, getting the inhibitor, and then bailing, getting the soul on our retreat path. Actually, we didn't get the last dragon. What? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now. Next turret collected as well. Gold lead extended to 10,000. Can we... Get another soul point. Uh, what is this? What is this? This game, man. These series. It's like we're recording here for hours now. This will be a pain to edit. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Carrier with the killer combo sets it up. Faker dunks it down. Boom! Onto Zekar's head. Fucking crushed. And okay, a wave crashing into the bot lane turret, chunking it a bit, right? That's maybe an avenue for T1 to play around. Yeah, I mean, oh, Zeka, your turret was destroyed in milliseconds. Now, at least a positive note, one team will get soul, right? We don't have to see more of these dragons, like, spawning. Unless we con... yeah, unless Elder Dragon, right? Uh, okay, T1, 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 T1. Faker builds a beautiful wall and he makes Hunger Life pay for it. Spell shield by Peanut, quite good. Owner goes in, let's see. The smite comes through! That is the soul, okay. <sighs> Most damage in the team fight for Owner, okay. There's the hook onto Zeri! Oh my god, everyone jumps! Decker though, oh my god, is T1 too deep? Maybe there are, maybe there are not. But the collab back is not successful. T1, Ace. Not aces. Destroys them! The Zeri and Zeka moment is not happening. Finally, these carries are slain, and T1 will march down mid lane and put an end to the series. Yeah. Oh my god. The games have been sloppy. The games have been aggressive, chaotic, action rich, and flashy at times with a bunch of nonsense as well. Uh, Hangwa Life. A fierce opponent and T1 makes the lower bracket run. We're going to MSI. We're going to face Gen G in a couple of hours, actually. Like for me, it's like six hours, seven hours. Like this video will probably go, go online while we're already facing Gen G. I mean, hi. Yeah. Anyway, T1 beat Hunger Life in a very competitive series. Uh, gameplay at times like a bit all over the place. Mistakes were made, mistakes were but also punished, which was pretty good. Hunger Life. As, like they started the series pretty well and I mean again the mechanics are also pretty good good opponent Thank you for being such a good training partner We're going to use your strength your useful sacrifice and going to beat Gen G and then it's going to succeed in the future as well T1 prove their opponents wrong prove the haters wrong. We can still make it to finals and uh, yeah, from there we will see each other in the near future. Thumbs up from me as well, Zeus. Thumbs up maybe for you to this video if you've watched this. Hey, that's a long video you've just watched. Maybe you liked it. Hopefully you did. And if you do, you, you know, yeah, the, yeah, the YouTube stuff, right? Anyway, we see each other uh, probably just in a couple of hours. And uh, yeah, let's go.